Hey what's going on guys my name is Marufamim in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create a 3d flip profile card using Elementor. So initially we can see the image but when we hover over on it we can see the details with beautiful flip effect. So without further ado let's go inside Elementor page builder. First take a section by clicking on this plus icon I'm gonna take three column structure then let's take a height to minimum height and vh 200 select the middle column from widget space i'm gonna take here zero then inside this middle column i'm gonna drag the image widget let's choose an image i'm choosing this one then insert media then from image size i'm gonna take it full make it centered then go to style tab Let's take the width to 100%. Then let's take the height to 400 pixel. From object fit, make it cover. And from border radius, let's take it to 10 pixel. From Rubik's Cube icon, I'll be dragging an inner section under the image. Delete one column from here. Now let's take the height to minimum height. And remember one thing, this height should remain as same as the image height. Then vertical align to middle. Let's now select the inner column. Then from style tab, I'll be adding the background. Let's choose the color to hash FF35AE. Then from border, let's take the border radius to 10 pixel. After that, go to advanced tab, unlink the margin. Let's take 10 to right and 10 to left. Then go to Rubik's Cube icon, drag this heading widget here. I'll change the title to my name. Then HTML tag, we will be taking H3. Alignment, make it centered. From style tab, let's take the color to white. Now we will be duplicating this heading, click here. I will change the title to creative web designer. Then go to style tab, from typography, I'm gonna take the font size to 17 pixel and from width, I'm adding 400. Okay, then go to Rubik's Cube icon, I'm searching for social media icon. Let's drag this under the second heading. From under content, I'll be taking the shape to circle. Then go to style tab, I'm taking the color to custom and the primary color to hash 0000002E. Then I'll be adding the size, let's take 20. Okay, then go to Rubik's Cube icon, take the button widget under here. I'm gonna change the text to hire me. Then make it centered. Then from style tab, open the typography. Let's take the width to 400. Then from color, I'll be taking the color to white and text color i'm taking it to black then from border radius i'm taking 20 pixel then go to advanced tab unlink the margin let's take 40 top here our layout is done let's now add the 3d flip hover effect now we will be selecting the main column from here then go to its advanced tab open the custom CSS field by the way Custom CSS is only available on Elementor Pro. I'll put my Elementor Pro affiliate link in the description. If you purchase Elementor Pro through the affiliate link, you don't have to pay any extra, but we will get a little commission for that. That will help us to continue this YouTube channel and make more interesting tutorials like this. Now we will be adding some CSS snippet or we can simply go to jimfahaddigital.com. I will put the pages link in the description. Now from this page, from under 3D Curve CSS, we have to copy this whole snippet. Let's copy it. Then go to Elementor and paste it here, like this. We have added the CSS here, but you see, still the effect isn't working here. Now to make it work, we just need to take one class name. We will be selecting the inner section, then go to Advanced tab. From here, CSS classes, let's type text-section. You have to make sure that you have type here text-section, otherwise it won't work. If we now minimize the bar and have a look, we can see the details with beautiful flip 
effect. Awesome. Okay, open the bar right now. Let's now duplicate this column for two times. Again, delete the empty column from both sides. By using Navigator, I'll be changing the other columns, text and images. Let's now right click and open the Navigator. Select the image, then from content, let's change it. Insert it. Also change the text. Let's do the same thing with the third one. So far it's looking great. Now I just want to see how it's looking on mobile and tablet device. So go to responsive mode in tablet device. It's looking great. And in mobile device, everything is looking perfect. Okay, now let's close it. When you're done with your work, don't forget to click on this green update button to save your work. I hope you have learned something new today. If you like it, please give this video a big thumb up and don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Also press on that notification bell icon to get notified before anyone whenever we will upload a new video on this YouTube channel. Also if you want us to help you on your WordPress project or Elementor project, then you can contact us through our website that's jimfahadigital.com. We will try our best to help you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. For now, bye-bye.